may be wondering if it's safe to eat pork. According to medical experts, the influenza A H1N1 virus is not spread by food. You cannot get the virus from eating pork or pork products either. So, eating properly handled and cooked pork products is safe. A message from the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Time now for the facts on common health disorders and what you can do to stay well during this hectic period. Do you know that high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is one of the most common health disorders in our society? Are you aware that it is also linked with other chronic illnesses such as diabetes and heart disease? People with these diseases are always advised by nutritionists to eat food with less sodium and sugar and consume less alcohol. On Get the Facts today, we will tell you how to enjoy the festive season and still be health conscious. It is a fact that at December each year, diaries are filled with parties, invitations from friends and family, and other activities all revolving around food and drink. This is also the season when all the promises made 12 months ago may be broken because of celebrations. But you need not change your sensible lifestyle nor jeopardize your health because of the celebrations, especially if you have high blood pressure or diabetes. There are just a few simple tips to follow. Use small amounts of salt and sugar. That's the general note. But more specifically, do not add salt when cooking vegetables. Avoid adding salt at the table. Learn to enjoy the flavor of the food without the influence of condiments. Use alternatives to salt in your cooking. That means more fresh herbs and spices and experiment with things like lime, lemon and other fruits that can give nice flavors to food. Choose fresh cooked meats rather than preserved ones, for example, roast pork instead of ham. If you have to eat ham, soak it in water to remove excess salt before cooking. Use fresh or frozen meats and vegetables rather than canned items. If you must, choose canned vegetables that have oil or syrup instead of salt as a preservative. Use soft cheeses, they are lower in salt content. Now, for those who just have their wine, rum and vodka at this time of the year, we're not telling you to go dry this season. But there are also some important healthy tips for those with diabetes and hypertension. Use alcohol in moderation. Make non-alcoholic cocktails that can be enjoyed by all the family. At parties and social events, alternate your alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. This will hopefully reduce your alcohol intake by half. Remember that most medications given for high blood pressure and diabetes should not be mixed with alcohol. Volunteer to be a designated driver for your group and do not drink if you plan to drive. Although this is a festive season, do not forget physical activity as your lifestyle should not change within the season. Finally, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the company of your friends and family as you celebrate the season of goodwill. If you are diabetic or have high blood pressure and you eat and drink in moderation, you can avoid the pains in the coming year. For more information on how you can drink and eat sensibly this festive season, if you have high blood pressure or diabetes, consult your nutritionist or any government hospital or clinic close to you. You can also get useful information from the Caribbean Food and Nutrition Institute, UIMONA Campus, Kingston 7, telephone 927-1540 or 927-2657. Forget the facts, I'm Samantha Allen.
Before God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of my mind, and the strength and vigor of my body. In the service of my fellow citizens, I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace. To work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly. and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. This is where we'll have to close the pages of this edition of Jamaica Magazine. Please do tune in again tomorrow for another informative and interesting edition. And remember, this and other programs can be viewed online at www.jis.gov.jm. While you're at it, give us your feedback at jamaicamagazine at jis.gov.jm. On behalf of the team here at the JIS, I am Alison Watson. Have a great evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service. The, the Voice, Voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica.